Hey, what's going on everybody? Jake the Happy Snake here and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yesterday, I walked away on the 13th question, unlike Wednesday. I walked with 125,000 pounds, that was converted to $125,000, and that brought my overall total to $72,175,942. So, let's try to have a good finish to this week. Let's see if we can actually win the million twice in one week. That would be amazing. Here we go. Final 100 pound question of the week. How many musicians are there in a quartet? That's gonna be A. One hundred pounds. Okay, here we go for two hundred. What is the name of Walt Disney's ill-tempered duck? Donald. Alright. Two hundred pounds, here we go for three hundred. Which go together to mean totally opposite. Chalk and cheese. Alright, going for 500 pounds. What would you be training to be if you attended RADA? Actor. Five hundred pounds, and now we are going for a thousand. Which of these is UK's longest road? A1. And there we go. That is a thousand pounds, and that's guaranteed. So, ten away now from the million. Very good. Now, let's go for two thousand pounds. Bottle knows a species of dolphin. Final answer. All right, not bad. Now I had to use a lifeline on the seventh question yesterday. Hopefully I don't have to do that today. Please and thank you. All right, here we go. 4,000 pound question. Blade on races, Tyneside, final answer. Yes. All right, <clears throat> 4,000 pounds. Okay, not bad so far, going for 8,000, still all three lifelines. Here we go. Capital of Pakistan, Islamabad, right? Final answer. Yes! Alright, we're on a roll. 8,000 pounds to all three lifelines. I like how this is going so far. I want to jinx it. Question 9 now for 16,000 pounds. Which nautical term means a change course into the wind? I'm gonna ask the audience. I'm not sure. Oh my, are you serious? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I kind of already thought that it was A or C. All right, looks like I'm gonna phone a friend as well. Oh, I hate using two lifelines on one question. This is completely, you know, like I got through the first eight without having to use a lifeline. I was feeling pretty good. This is, this is, this is, this completely ruins everything. Luff. Okay, so I, asking the audience was a complete, compl utter, absolute utter waste of time. Jeepers, that is so stupid. 16,000. One lifeline. Oh man. Alright, here we go for 32,000 pounds. I'm actually like not happy about that. Barnaby Books. Inspector Barnaby Books. Uh, Midsummer Murders. I'm not playing it safe anymore. <laughs> the heck with that. If I think I have an idea, I'm going with that. That's the way it's gonna be. 32,000 pounds, all right. 
So, five away from the million, sell the 50 50. <clears throat> Here we go now for 64,000 pounds. The Kikui is a native tribe of which African country? Okay, let's 50-50. It's like Kenya, final answer. All right. 64,000. No lifelines left though, unfortunately. But that's that's all right. At this point yesterday, I didn't have any lifelines left, so. Four away now from a million. Here we go for 125,000 pounds. In tennis, who took over as Great, uh, as Great Britain's Davis Cup captain in 2000? Uh, Roger Taylor. I don't know why that sounds right, but it does. So, B, final answer. Yes. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. 125,000 pounds. <clears throat> Three away from the million now. I might take a sh I might take a shot on, on this next one. I'll have to see how I feel. Here we go. Question 13 for 250,000 pounds. Which Suffragate threw herself under King George the Fifth's horse in 1913. Emily Davison. That sounds right. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 Okay, I got I got to I got to take a second. I have to take a second. That was kind of like a guess of me just kind of like giving up. Like I've had enough of this. I don't even really care if I'm going to lose 93,000 pounds cuz I thought it might have been D. I could, I was thinking it could be D as well. Uh wow. I can't believe that was actually right. Okay. This game is still going. Two away now. This is actually getting kind of exciting. We're going for 500,000 pounds. Oh, boy. Whew. Which sport would interest a Toxoflite? Toxoflite? I've had this before, and I think I've walked away every time I've seen it. You know, if I still have one of those lifelines left... I guess the audience probably wouldn't help me at this point anyways, but still. I have no idea. I, re I really wish I did. Um, Trying to decide if I should actually go for it. What are the chances I'm going to be right? I mean, I wasn't really—I didn't really think I was going to be right in the last question.
I'm not even sure what orienteering or skeet shooting are. I'm trying to think, is it would it be worth it if I lose the 218? Yeah, you know what? In these kind of situations, I decide if I should, should go for it, and then when I eventually decide to go for it, and then I I instantly regret it. So I'm just gonna walk with the 250 before I change my mind. Because, like, you know, it's always nice to go into the weekend with a good win. And this is pretty good. 250,000. That's pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. 250,000 pounds. That is converted to $250,000. And that brings my overall total to $72,425,942. So... That's it for today, guys. That's it for this week. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have an amazing weekend. I will see you back here on Monday for a brand new week. Thanks, guys, for watching. Peace out.